Hey, meet cuties. We are so excited to present this story with our friends at Riley and Gray, the number one rated wedding RSVP website by Brides.com and the perfect wedding website destination for all you hopeful romantics. Riley and Gray makes it easy for design-minded couples to build beautiful, uniquely you websites for your big day, where you can give your guests all of the information they need with features like custom URLs, registry building, privacy and security, and seamless RSVP guest management. And for Meet Cute listeners, Riley and Gray is offering 20% off your membership. Just visit RileyGray.com. That's R-I-L-E-Y-G-R-E-Y.com. And enter code MeetCute to plan your perfect happily ever after. All right, Mr. Roboto. What's my username? Brass96? Damn right I am. Password. Shiznit1234. <laughs> and new mystery date? Yes. Pewter16 is available for a date? Well, bring it on. Please work, please work, please work. Hey there, Brassy Brass. You single and ready to mingle? Sweet! Oh yeah, Pewter Duder. Holy shnikes, Laura, it, it freaking works. It works. I can't believe it. Izzy, you're a genius. I prefer internet dating interface creating Java God, but genius is cool. I could kiss you right now, you know that? Oh, well, I mean, if you insist. Professor Beals is going to flip. I'm going to call her now so she can update the press release on the Oberlin website. Any luck scrounging up a few more participants? I've got 51 so far. Pretty slim pickings around here. I thought for sure there'd be more kids hanging around campus this summer. I'd say we could be a part of the study. Nah, nah, I get it. We're administrators. We know who all the participants are. The results would be unreliable. Hey, look at you picking up on this whole research psychology thing. Okay, computer science majors might be a little dim when it comes to the inner workings of the mind, but... We do have a grasp on statistics. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean that you... No, 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 no. Any more than two in our brains explode. Seriously. (laughs) Thank you so much for sacrificing your summer to do this with me. I don't know what I would have done. Man, no biggie. You sure? I know you and your high school friends have this thing about summers. We do, we do. But they get it. Sometimes things come up. Important things, like groundbreaking psychological studies debunking myths about human attraction and sexuality. I don't know about groundbreaking. I do, and it will be, just like everything else about you. (laughs) Cut it out, Iz. You're making me blush. Besides, you're pretty awesome, too. Really? Totally. You're the best housemate I could have asked for. Right. Yeah. I'm one hell of a housemate. Cool. Well, I'm going to see if I can scrounge up a few more participants. I think I saw some stragglers around Harkness. Yikes. You sure about that? I mean, I love my hippies, but... Hey, we're digital, baby. What the other participants can't smell won't hurt them. (laughs) The heck? You expecting anyone? Izzy! Hey, Izzy! You home, girl? Val! Who? My best friend, Val! What the heck is she doing in Ohio? Hot damn. Didn't know that jalopy was safe for highway travel. Hey, did she just diss my ride? That I did, sir. (laughs) Danny rebuilt the entire engine himself while graduating with honors. What do you call this broken down shanty? Surprised the porch can even hold your skinny ass. This, my friends, is the finest in off-campus housing, Oberlin, Ohio. Mm, I would have stuck with the dorms if I was you. Not if you saw the foot fungus I got last year. Oh, wait. You're into that kind of thing, aren't you? What? Man, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. No, nigga. Ay, uncle, uncle. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, that's what I thought. Damn, I missed you, brother. What the heck are you guys doing out here? I thought you were spending the summer in the Heights. I was till I heard you were stuck at Oberlin, and we made a pact to spend our summers together. I know. I'm sorry. Don't be. Things are going to come up, and that just means I have to adapt. And after four years of only seeing this girl on weekends, I wasn't about to let her out of my sight. So, you guys are staying in Oberlin for the summer? I mean, 
If that's okay. Okay, that's freaking dope. We got more than enough space. I mean, I gotta ask Laura, but she's chill. She'll be down. Ooh, Laura. Is she the new Miss Muffet? Aye, old chap. And soon, we're gonna saddle up the horses and go get hitched so I can get that dowry. <laughs> Miss Muffet. Excuse me. I've just spent the past two years buried in turn of the century lit. Is she your girlfriend? No, she's not, but with any luck, she will be by the end of the summer. So can it with the Inquisition. She's right inside. Oh, but can I... And no matchmaking. I have to do this one on my own. Oh, it's just been so long. Trust me, I know, but I want something serious this time. Something real. So I gotta take my time and really earn it, you know? Oh, sounds like someone's growing up. Can it, Danster? You're 22 and you can't even grow a mustache. Well, I can't too. Val doesn't like facial hair. Likely story. Have you heard from Natalie lately? What? <laughs> Who? Natalie, like our other best friend that we made this unbreakable pact to spend summers with. Tried calling a couple times, but she hasn't hit me back. No, um, not. I'm, I'm sure she's fine. You are the worst liar on the planet, you know that? Izzy, darling, the party has arrived. Natalie? What? But how? But who? Hey, Iz. What's wild, Moonchild? Aura? Oh, this is bad. Holy moly, am I getting punked right now? <laughs> Either you are or I am. Hi, Natalie. I would say nice to see you, but, <laughs> well. Wait, what's going on? Izzy, my love. I got your message about staying at Oberlin, and I just couldn't let you brave the Midwest for an entire summer on your own. If I knew you had company, however. Oh, God, Natalie. Always with the drama. Au contraire, my sour little pickle. Now it's... God, Natalie, always with the booze. Schnikes, you rob a liquor store? <laughs> Who needs to pillage when they're on their third book deal after two bestsellers? When Aura told me Oberlin was a dry town, I made sure to clean out the top shelf at Morel before we hit the road. Oh, why? Because we're going to be partying all summer, aren't we? You mean you're going to be staying? Need I remind you? We made a pack. Yeah, but you... All of us. Right. But... Aura, are you... Staying? Nah, don't sweat it. I got a job in California starting in September, working for this tech startup. Oh, cool. Uh, anything I've heard of? <laughs> nah, it's a new thing called GoPro. Who knows if it'll even be a thing, but... I wanted to head out early, get myself set up, and Natalie needed a ride to Ohio, so I said hop in. She's staying the night, though. I cannot allow my chivalrous chauffeur to resume her travels without a few champagne cocktails and some beauty sleep. Well, we only have four bedrooms, and Val and Danny will be in one, so... Val and Danny? <laughs> Since when are you two staying here? Since we came to surprise Izzy long before you did. Well, I mean, it was five minutes, but... Oh, so if you're here, there's no room for me? Is that what you're saying? No, it just means you'll have to share with... I don't know, Natalie. Your head's pretty big these days. Who knows if it'll even fit through the door? Uh -huh. I'll take a big head over creating a black hole of self-pity any day. Girl, don't make me... You can take the girl out of the heights, but even a decent college education. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh, Danny, hold my earrings. Aura, hold my boob. Guys, hey, cut it out over there, will ya? Who the hell are you? I'm Laura, Izzy's housemate, and you're messing up my front lawn. Now get inside, all of you. <sighs> I was looking forward to a good scrap, but if you insist. She's cool, Iz. You gotta lock that down. Pretty sure that just got a whole lot harder. Okay, everyone, now sit down and shut up. 
So, from what I gather, you've all arrived to spend the summer here uninvited and unannounced. I am oh, so sorry. I didn't even sorry. think about it. I'm so sorry. I get it. You two are Izzy's best friends, and you have the summer packed. Well, We're best of course. Friends. Which is weird, because you two don't seem to like each other very much. And then there's you. I'm Val's boyfriend. Who won't let his girlfriend out of his sight, and your vintage Volkswagen girl. Bora, Natalie's friend from Columbia, and... <laughs> Izzy and I had a... <laughs> uh, anyone want coffee? We all went to the same high school. Yes, Izzy, I'll take mine with two equals and skim milk, please. Better yet, make it half and half. You only live once. Got it. But by all of you surprising Izzy, as her housemate, you were also surprising me. Honestly, oh my goodness, goodness. I didn't mean to... I'm, I'm so mean, I should have brought something. Which is fine. So long as you participate in the psychological study Izzy and I are conducting. Okay, well, what is this study? Whoa, hold up. I ain't no guinea pig. No, no, no. Nothing like that. See, Laura has a theory that sexuality is way more fluid than people think, and that if you strip away things like gender, appearance, social shizzy, and just talk to people... You'd find that attraction has nothing to do with sexuality or societal constructs. But how are you going to do that? I mean, the minute you talk to someone, even if you can't see them, you know if they're male or female. Well, that's where Izzy comes in. She created an entirely internet-based dating system where our 50-some-odd participants are known by randomly assigned gender-neutral usernames. All the dates happen in private chat rooms, and any words that refer to gender, age, etc. are flagged and removed. So you can date as many participants as you want in an open judgment-free arena and see who you're most attracted to. Only 50 or so participants. Then there's a chance we might actually know who we're talking to in there, right? Less of a chance for you, since you don't go to school here. Well, yeah, but Val and I are already attracted to each other, so this won't really work on us. Sure it will. Participants can meet the person they're most attracted to at the end, but they don't have to. This experiment is to see how people gel without external influences. Oh, cool. Yeah. That's perfect. We're in. You sure about this, Val? Oh, come on. It's just some online chatting. What's the harm? So you guys down? Except for Aura, of course, because she's leaving early tomorrow morning, aren't you, Aura? Yeah. Yeah, right. But you guys have fun. I'm in. I guess I am too, then. Will there be both a beginning and end of experiment liquor-filled extravaganza? I don't see why not. Glorious. Then I, too, am in. Now, let's drink already! Izzy, darling, no. You can't be going to bed. Bed is for losers. Then call me Justin Guarini. Night, everyone. Good night, Izzy. I love you so much. Ah, bed, sweet bed. (laughs) <laughs> Shnikes, Aura! I'm sorry. Whoa, you should have seen your face. You scared the shiznit out of me. Your room is next door? Yeah, I know. Sorry, but I... Um... <laughs> Yo, hold up. Are you, like, nervous right now? Maybe. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know Aura Tomlin got nervous. Ah, there you go again with that Aura Tomlin stuff again. Sorry. Doesn't matter how many times we slept together, you'll always be iconic. Whoa. You kiss all your exes like that? (laughs) Nah. Just the ones I can't stop thinking about. Sorry, I've been sitting at a computer screen for five days straight. It sounded like you said you've been... Thinking about you? Yeah. (laughs) What we had. It was dope. What lasted. You mean, until you called it off? Oh, come on, Iz. I was by at Columbia. Remember that bomb sushi buffet at Seth Abelman's Bar Mitzvah? Mm, definitely wasn't invited to that. Yeah, but we can picture it, right? It was like, it was like that on crack. But I kind of burn out, you know? Too much wasabi. <laughs> yeah. And when the dust settled, I just kept wondering about you what could have been you know oh that that's my thigh (laughs) and you're gorgeous magnetic always have been but 
There goes my belt. So you thought about me too? I mean, of course, you were my first ever. Wow, you take pants off fast. I learned a lot more than that in college. I'd love to show you. You did say you're hitting the road in the morning, didn't you? Like Kerouac in the dawn. I could live to regret this, but what the hell? Get over here. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> Aura? Huh? Oh, I guess she bounced. Oh, hey, glad I got up in time to see you off. Off? This one's not going anywhere, is. Why didn't you tell me your high school friends were so cool? <laughs> what? Laura convinced me to stay to be a part of the study, so I'm here for the summer, is. Is that so? Yep, and we can pick up right where we left off. Awesome! Ugh, it's too early. What are you, nocturnal? It's 12 noon, Natalie. Of course it is. It's called humor, Andrea. My lord, you're dry. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, dry as a bone. Just like your bank account's gonna be if you don't start turning in pages. It's only been a few months. <laughs> Just remind Passions Publishing that literary brilliance takes time. Oh, my head. You okay? Just, um, uh, migraine. Stress-induced, I'm sure. Is that what kept you from the book signing at the Strand yesterday? The what? Jesus, Natalie, what the hell is going on with you? I got a massive book deal for you, and you've been MIA for weeks. I'm sorry. Oh, honestly, the signing slipped my mind. Oh, yeah, did it? Mm. Because I'm... I'm just so engrossed in writing this next novel. Really? So you started it? (laughs) Please, I'm over a hundred pages in. I just, I'm a little protective of this one, and it's special. It's, It's so special, in fact, that I've decided to spend the entire summer in Ohio so I can focus all my attention to it. Ohio? Yeah, it's Ohio. No, 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 no. You can't be in Ohio. You have six book signings next week and an interview with New York Magazine. Well, we can do it over the phone, no? You said you could handle this. I can. Really? Because from what I've been hearing, you're spiraling. (gasps) Who said that? Well, people talk in this town. Ollie Cook. He said you met for drinks, you got plastered, and he had to call you a cab. (laughs) Yeah, well... Look, okay, you know, your ex-boyfriend... Your problem. You missing events? Not turning in pages? That's my problem. I just... need a moment, okay? (sighs) Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I get it. I'll set it up so that you can do the interview over the phone, and I'll reschedule your events for next month. Is that enough time? Uh, yes. That's fine. Good. Now pull yourself together. I got a lot of problems, Natalie, but a 21-year-old romance writer with only two books under her belt can't be one. Got it? Got it. I won't be. I am royally screwed. Natalie, come downstairs. We're going to do your interview for the experiment. Yes, of course. I'm coming. And where would you say you are on the sexuality spectrum? Beyond straight, unfortunately. Bi is so much more in vogue right now. And how would you describe your type? Tall, devastatingly handsome, with a big earning potential and a large endowment (laughs) in the arts. Ha ha. (laughs) Not like I didn't already know. Is that all you need? I do need to get some writing done today. Yeah, that was great, especially with the raging hangover. Migraine. I told you. Whatevs. You did way better than Danny. Oh, that's so. Hell's yes. All he did was find different ways to describe Val. Long black hair, deep brown eyes, 
five foot five with the horsepower of a Mustang and a scent like fresh cut roses. No. Yes. I nearly threw up on my laptop until I realized he was talking about the car. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a goober, but you gotta love the dude. Yes. Well, with a man like him, who needs friends, right? Yeah. Speaking of... What's going on between the two of you anyway? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Oh, pff, come on. You totally have beef. Whole place smelled like Arby's the minute you two walked in. <laughs> I noticed nothing other than Val's usual quarrelsome, insensitive manner. Maybe you should ask her about what her beef has to do with me. Mm, yeah. Good. Now I'm going to work upstairs, if that's all right. Oh, hey Val. Natalie and I were just talking. Izzy. Uh, about beef. <laughs> Burgers, I mean. And uh, making some for dinner tonight. If you... That's great. But I guess Natalie's forgotten. I'm a vegetarian now. That's cool. That That's cool. We can do both oh, of Oh, I didn't forget. Just don't care. Ay, Dios mío. Kind of like someone else I know. <laughs> if you gave one wild crap about anyone besides yourself. Well, if it's feral excrement you're after, then have a wonderful time, Valentina. I'll be bestowing my affections upon my real friends. Yo, what's the deal? The only thing real in your life is the rum you just put in your coffee cup. That's it. I'm going to the library. Good riddance. Jeez, Val, what was that? You gotta tell me what happened. Sorry, Iz. This one's between me and Natalie. But... Damn it! Why won't anyone tell me anything? Oh, hello. You are strapping, aren't you? Do you work here? Yep. You need something? <laughs> Where do I begin? <clears throat> right. Well, I'm supposed to be working. I'm a writer. Oh, cool. Indeed. But truth be told, I'd much rather dabble in this fabulous little dating experiment I'm a part of. Oh, yeah. The online thing Laura Bateman's doing for her psych class? The very same. <gasps> You're participating in the study, too, then, I presume. Yeah, uh, well, I told Laura I'd do some dates or whatever. <laughs> well, if you can leave your prestigious post guarding this computer lab, perhaps you and I can skip the online portion of the experiment and cut right to the live version. Nah, that's cool. Uh, but you can use any of the computers over there to log into the interface. That Izzy girl hooked him up. <laughs> okay. Perhaps you didn't understand. <clears throat> I meant you and I could... You got booze in that travel mug? Why? You want some? It's two o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> right. Um, that computer over there, you said? Glorious. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. So judgy. Where do you think you are, Yale? I can totally hear you. Uh, yell. I said I'll just give a yell if I need anything. <laughs> okay. Logging into mystery date experiment. Create a password. Val Flores sucks. <laughs> Account created. Vandaba. Start dating. Uh, yes. Mm hmm. Let's see. 1089 is online. As is zinc 12, aluminum 7, and. Ooh, steel 55. Sounds like my kind of man. Make the first move. <laughs> well, if I must. Fancy meeting you here, Steel 55. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Fancy meeting you too. Okay. Cute. Understated. This could work. So, what are you into? 
Mostly online fantasy roleplay, but there's a group of us that D&D on Wednesday nights, if you ever want to join. Oh, good lord, no! Abort! This is going to be harder than I thought. So, you don't go to school here? I go to Columbia. I'm just here for the summer. What are you running away from? Uh, I beg your pardon? Sorry, just seems crazy to spend your summer in Oberlin. Must be something you're hiding from. How dare you? You don't know anything about me. Whoa, defensive much. Sorry, but I don't have time for other people's baggage. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Iron 17 has aborted your date. Well, I never. Would you like to initiate another date? Well, duh. I'm not going out like that running away from something. I'm not running, you imbecile. I'm, oh, Cobalt 3 would like a date. Accept. Hey, what's up, Daterino? So much, Cobalt. I'm just swimming in good fortune. Awesome. Like what? For starters, I'm already a very accomplished writer and I haven't yet earned my college degree. Cool. I'm fielding so many offers, my head is spinning, like like Regan in The Exorcist. Aren't you interested in knowing what I've written? Not really. Seems like you got a lot to prove. And you kind of talk like a vampire. <gasps> Plebeian oaf. Have fun sleeping in your coffin, Duder. I'm out. This is just stupid. That was you, wasn't it? Our... You talking to me? Right. Act all innocent. But I'm on to you, Cobalt 3. Cobalt... I'm literally just reading a book. Whatever. I've got my eye on you. All right. We close in an hour. Stop badgering me. <sighs> all right. No more messing around. Who have we got here? Lead 27. <laughs> Lead... I don't need to be led. You can follow me. Nickel five. Oh, sounds sweet. Though I'm starting to think the whole of Oberlin is composed of blunt, insensitive Philistines. I'll give you a chance, Nickel five. Let me start by being brutally honest. I'm an elitist, overeducated workaholic. I also have commitment issues and a hotel luggage trolley full of emotional baggage. So if that's a problem, or if you like calling people out for fun, then just abort the date now and save us both the time. I like your style. Why don't you tell me about your good traits? Well, hello, hello. And I get it, it's Lord of the Rings, but I just wasn't into it. I mean, who wants to sit in a theater watching hairy trolls for over two hours for no ending? Exactly! And everyone's like, but it's a trilogy! And I'm like, I know, but so was Alien. So was Back to the Future. And those movies had endings. Enough of what we don't like. Tell me what you do like. These days? Not much, to be honest. Why? Hmm, let's just say things haven't exactly been going my way lately. Anything I can do? Maybe. What's your blood type? Uh... <laughs> I'm kidding. No, unfortunately, I have to face this one alone. Don't want to tell me what it is? Saying it out loud, I mean, even typing it in a chat just makes it so... Real? Precisely. And I'm just not ready for real right now. In fact, I've spent the better part of the last month running from real. You and me both. A kindred spirit. What's your favorite method of running? Fake smiles. Pretending to be busy. Mm. Talking to you. This has been nice, hasn't it? Most honest conversation I've had in a long time. Well, perhaps this is what we can be for one another this summer. A refuge from the world we are not ready to face. Should we set some ground rules then? Rule one, no judging. Absolutely. Second rule, 
No giving stupid advice, like talk to a therapist. <laughs> and nothing that breaks the escape, like go talk to the person or face your fears. God, no. Who wants good advice when they're hiding from the world? I'd much rather be told to lock the bathroom door and put headphones on. Going out on a limb here, but uh, I wish I could be in that bathroom with you now. Okay, everybody out. And by everybody, I mean you, lady. All right, all right, just a minute. Being forced from my station by an ornery hippie. Chat tomorrow? I'll be here. Lights are going out. And Nickel, thank you again. Uh, I thought my whole summer was going to be a bust. And then, and then there was you. Come on, right back. Locking the door. Where do you have to be, honestly? <gasps> there we go. Maybe we'll get to meet when this is all over. I hope so, Nickel. I really do. Hey, babe. How was your shower? Fine. A shower. You know. I was going to join you, but the door was locked. Oh, was it? Sorry, force of habit. <laughs> no sweat. I'm going to go down and help Izzy with breakfast. Sounds good. I'll be down in a minute. Yeah, what you got going on? Just have to write some emails. See if I can register for classes yet, you know. All right, see you downstairs then. See ya. Hey, Val? Yeah? I freaking love you. <laughs> I freaking love you too, Danny. Now close the door so I can get dressed. <sighs> okay, okay. Come on. All right, sweet. Load mystery date experiment. <gasps> oh my god. Bronze 42 is online. Where on earth have you been? Sorry. I was just talking to my mom. She's really been missing me this summer. Don't blame her one bit. <laughs> You're just saying that. I'm not. I have to admit, when I was first approached about this experiment, I thought it was a bit foolish. Oh my god, so did I. I was like, how can anyone be attracted to words on a screen? Just speaks to the human need for connection, doesn't it? The fact that two complete strangers can bond so deeply in just two short weeks. <laughs> this is totally cliche, but I feel like I've known you, like, forever. I've resisted saying the exact same thing. But it's confusing, too. I don't know if you're someone I'm supposed to be best friends with, or... Or something more? We have a connection. I mean, <laughs> duh. I just don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. You don't have to right now. Neither of us do. In another few weeks, this experiment will be over. And then we can decide from there. Right. Let's just enjoy the pleasure of knowing there's someone out there who gets us. <sighs> there's something I should tell you. Anything. I have a... Hey, Val! Jeez, Izzy, don't you knock? What? Because you're in a towel sitting on the computer? Nothing I haven't seen before. And frankly, not that exciting either. Hey, thanks a lot. No prob, Bob. Breakfast is ready. I'll be down in a second. What you doing in here anyway? Writing emails. Jeez, why is everyone so nosy around here? Sorry. <sighs> I am in so much trouble. Hey, Val! Your eggs are getting chilly, yo! Yeah, babe, what took you so long? Sorry, just couldn't decide what to wear. It is difficult when one cares so much about themselves. I would say, takes one to know one, but you look like Anna Nicole Smith after passing out for a night in Tompkins Square Park. Uh, are you calling me fat? How dare you! All right, all right, all right. Back to your corners, ladies. Fine. I just came from Java Zone, but I suppose I'll be heading back to Java Zone. Thank you very much. Jeez, you two. Uh, hey, anyone else want more coffee? Oh, uh, on second thought, I, um, uh, I have to make a quick call. To who? 
I'll be right back. All right, Holmes. It's been weeks. You ready to tell me what went down between you and Natalie? No, I told you that... Okay, you don't want to talk about it. Fine. Then how about the two plus hours a day you've been spending on the mystery date experiment? I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Val, come on. I built the program. You think I can't see how much time you're on it? So you're spying on me? I just want to make sure everything's okay between you and Danny. I mean, after all these years, I'm kind of attached to the guy. (sighs) I know. Me too. I mean, I love him. But ever since he graduated from Cornell, he's been acting super cagey. Do you think he's stepping out on you? No, like, the opposite. You know? No. Actually, uh, I have zero idea what you're talking about. He's been weirdly happy, like, more than usual. And every couple days, just just like that, he sneaks off to make a phone call. And before we left, he had his email open, and I saw this whole conversation between him and a financial advisor. Like, since when does Danny need a financial advisor? You think he's opening a Swiss bank account or something? I think he's buying a ring. Oh, That sounds nice. No, to propose to me with. Oh, no. Exactly. I mean, have I thought about marrying him someday? Of course. But are you ready for that? Like, now? I don't know. That's why I've been spending so much time in the experiment. It's it's stupid. But I just need to know if there's anything else out there for me before... Hey, guys. Mm. Sorry about that. What'd I miss? Nothing, except for me needing to drop a serious... Deuce. See you fools later. No, Izzy, don't go. Wow, that was vivid. Oof. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> hey, I guess it's just you and me this morning. Yeah, great. <laughs> you planning on spending some time on Izzy's experiment today? No. I mean, if I have to, maybe. I'll see if I have time. (laughs) Cool. Just want to make sure you have something to do while I'm out. Where are you going? To the library. Need to print out some paperwork. Uh, Gotta send some faxes. For what? For what? I'm an important man, Valentina. Cornell grad, summa cum laude. (laughs) Right, right. You're a regular Bill Gates. But seriously, what are you up to? You've been in stealth mode for weeks. (laughs) So you've noticed, huh? Yeah. But don't, like... Speed up your plans or anything on account of me. What? Just like, whatever you're doing, you know, really think about things. And maybe, if you have second thoughts or something, like, just don't do it. (laughs) Don't you worry, Valentina. I've considered every single angle, and I know I'm making the right move. Really? I wish I could tell you more, but I want it to be a surprise. Can you maybe give me a hint? Um, okay, fine. The pieces are still coming together. But if what I think is going to happen happens, then I'm going to be making a little purchase. Nothing crazy, but it is something you're going to spend a whole lot of time looking at, that's for sure. Sounds good. And this is just the start, my love. Like, I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Holy teen nuptials, Batman. That dude is so buying you an engagement ring. Oh, what the hell do I do, Izzy? Romeo and Juliet got married at, like, 13 or something. They killed themselves. Bad example. Uh, what about Marie Antoinette? She was 14. And then she got her head chopped off. Oh, my God, I am so screwed, Izzy. Okay, okay. Let's just take a chill pill here. We don't know he's buying a ring. Oh, come on. You heard what he said. It's very suspect, but we don't know for sure. So, I say we follow him. I know a back way into the computer lab. We can spy on him without him knowing. Doesn't that make me, like, the definition of a crappy girlfriend? No. It makes you responsible. You really gonna let that sweet dude pop the question when you don't know what your answer's gonna be? You know what? You're right. I have to spy on him. 
for his own good. I mean, what kind of girlfriend would I be if I just let him embarrass himself like that? Damn straight. Let's change into something more incognito and roll out. Oh, he's opening another email. Can you read what it says? Girl, that screen is like 30 feet away and I got astigmatism. Oh wait, he's picking up his phone. He's texting. Damn it. You guys need some help? <gasps> Dang it, Phil. I come here every day. Do I look like I need help? Go back to your little security desk, will ya? Sorry. Jeez. Ugh. Philosophy majors. <laughs> so, what's been going on with you, Is? Seems like you and Aura picked up right where you left off. I know, right? Such a mistake. What? Aren't you happy? Happy? Are you kidding me? I've had a thing for Laura since freshman year. Finally, we start getting close, working on this experiment together, and bam! In comes Hurricane Aura, blowing my spot all over the place. Then why did you hook up with Aura in the first place, then? Because she's hot! But mostly because she was supposed to be leaving the next day. Mm. So she said it was going to be a one-night thing? Yeah, and I didn't want to be rude. <laughs> I know, so dumb. And now it's been weeks, and I don't know how to tell her I'm not into her anymore. But it's probably too late anyway, because I'm pretty sure Laura's seeing someone, considering she's out all the time. And it sucks, because this is exactly what I didn't want to do anymore. I wanted to wait, really take my time, and find the right thing, you know? Something real. Sorry, is. Maybe you just need to stop crushing on girls with rhyming names. <laughs> Right? As long as she's out there, that's going to be impossible. <sighs> How is Nora anyway? I don't know. We agreed to give each other some space. It was just too hard, caring so much about someone you can't be with. You really loved her, didn't you? Pretty much. Did I tell you she's getting a degree in computer science, too? No, that's awesome. Is it? My perfect match, and she's stuck in Belgium and doesn't want a long-distance relationship. Seems pretty bunk to me. Ugh. And here I am, complaining that the guy I'm in love with probably wants to marry me. Nah, it's cool. Look, we all got shizzy, right? I'll get over Nora, just like I got over Aura. Yeah, you might want to tell her that. Working on it. Oh, Danny's on the move. He's pulling out his phone. <gasps> He's gonna make a call, side. Let's go! Crap! Come on, Izzy! I can't. It's Laura. Says there's been a breach in the mystery date program. I gotta get home and figure out what happened or the whole experiment will be kaput. Shoot. Okay. Go. I got this. Tell me everything when you get back. Will do. I got the loan? For real? Increíble! Cuando? Yeah, I can come down. What, seven hours? It's worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, Valentina's gonna flip. I just know it. Oh, she's good. She's good. She's perfect. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'll see you soon. Tell Ma I can't wait to see her. All right, bye. <laughs> oh, well, oh, Val. Sorry. I didn't mean to. No, no, no. No worries. Uh, how long were you standing there? I wasn't standing anywhere. I just got here. No, so you didn't hear me on the, on the phone? Everything. I mean... Anything. No, I, I heard nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I mean, not that I'm keeping secrets or anything, you know. It's... Oh, I know, I know. I mean, what secret would you have to keep right now? We're so young. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, uh, I have to head back to the city just for a day or so. Uh, you want to come back to the house with me? See me off? I was actually headed to the library. Natalie's at the house, and I just needed a quiet space to... Check out the course catalog for this year. I thought you already registered for classes. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I mean, I tried. But it was too early, just like you said, so... I'm just going to make sure that the classes I was going to register for are the ones I really want to register for. Okay. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to head out then, and I'll see you tomorrow night, or Wednesday. Yeah, take your time. What? I just mean have fun, you know? Tell your parents I say hi. Your parents? No, your parents. Your parents aren't my parents. 
<laughs> your parents are your parents. Whoa. <laughs> I just mean, you want me to tell your parents you say hi too? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Man, this beef with Natalie's really got you tripping, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. It, it's pretty rough. Look, I know things are strained right now, but she is your best friend. Eventually, the two of you will come back to one another. Just be patient, and don't let it get to you, okay? Okay. Thanks, Danny. I love you so much, you know that? I love you too. You better mean that, because I got plans, Valentina. Big plans. I'm sure you do. <laughs> All right. I'll see you in a few. See ya. Hey, you looking for a... Got it, thanks. I've been missing you, my dear. How are you? To be honest, not great. It's okay to not be great once in a while. Take a breath and tell me all about it. break. Yo, Izzy, you still working? Can you close the door? All those noises? Really annoying. You mean the sound of people enjoying themselves on a Friday night? Like you should be? Come on, Aura. I've been trying to find out who this hacker is for weeks now. Exactly. Which means it's time to chillax. Cut loose. Dance with me. Yeah, um, that sounds dope. And I wish I could. But I should really just stay up here until I figure out how someone breached the mystery date system. I mean, can you imagine if we had to throw out a whole summer's worth of results because I let some hacker hijack our experiment? Yeah, it's cool. Just haven't had a lot of time to hang with you lately. Hey, fools, didn't anyone tell you there's a party downstairs? Hey, Laura. Yeah, but Izzy doesn't want to come. Did I say want? I mean, of course I want to. Then let's go, Izzy. I feel like I haven't really hung out with you in forever. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could. But she wants to find out who hacked the mystery date system, and I get it. You guys worked really hard, and it would blow if you had to pitch the results. It would, yeah. But I could always get back into it tomorrow. No, that's okay. Sorry I distracted you. Laura, are you coming? I was about to bring out the jello shots. Dang, girl. You know it. <laughs> Thanks, sis. I really appreciate everything you're doing. You're a real trooper. Hey, party people! I've got jello! Isn't that perfect? Well, my hacker friend, I'd say you were ruining my summer, but it's not your fault I'm too chicken to tell my ex I'm not into her anymore, and that I'm crushing on a girl who thinks of me as her lab partner. Ugh. I just wanted something real for once, but... So far, the most real thing I've got is you, a ghost in the system. Or maybe you're just in my head, too. Who gives a shiz anymore? Love? Attraction? It's all a sham. Hello? Is anyone there? Silver 33? What the? I signed up for this dating experiment thing a month ago, and I haven't been able to reach anyone. That that shouldn't have happened. I'm so sorry, but the experiment is almost over now. Oh, that's okay. You can be my first date. I know this is super lame, but I'm actually one of the administrators, so I'm not supposed to participate. Boo. I was really looking forward to this. It's such a cool idea. Okay, okay. Why the hell not? What are you up to tonight, Silver33? And yo, Jay-Z, Eminem, they got mad skill. But they'll never be Tupac. (laughs) Right? Or Notorious B.I.G. Man, oh man. (laughs) This sounds stupid coming from a New York Jew with shrinks for parents, but Juicy changed everything I thought music could be. (laughs) <laughs> That's not stupid at all. The fact that you just typed the words man oh man, however... <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, didn't I mention I'm a massive dork? That the world's saying that, or you? 
Uh, both? Like, all the time. You know very well who you are. Don't let them hold you down. Reach for the stars. Look at you, quoting Biggie. Uh, talk about it being all a dream. <laughs> How do you mean? I really thought I knew who I was, you know? But I'm still doing the same dumb stuff I did years ago. Like what? Like getting involved with people just because they like me. And not because you like them? Precisely, Watson. Truth is, I'm just a big wuss who's as afraid of confrontation as I am of rejection. Or any other shun for that matter. What about maturation? That one's hella terrifying. <laughs> You're going to do what you do until you don't do it anymore. It sounds obvious, but it reminds me that growth is inevitable, even when it seems like we're completely stuck. That's mad deep. You sure you're an Oberlin student? <laughs> Why? You just reminded me of someone. That's all. Someone you actually liked or someone that just liked you? Someone I liked a lot, actually. Might even have to use the old love word for this one. Who was she? Just a Dutch goddess who always knew the right thing to say. Wait, uh, how did you know I was talking about a girl? Some call me an emotional Jedi, but I just call it intuition. <laughs> a tad psychic, are we? You should hit up Miss Cleo. I hear she's looking for interns. <laughs> Oh, you're funny. I like that. That's one of the first things she ever said to me. What the hell, Natalie? Are you out of your mind? As a matter of fact, I am. Your pathetic dribble has finally driven me insane. Oh, shit. Uh, sorry, Silver33. I gotta run. Nice chatting with you. What the hell did you break, Natalie? Nice chatting with you, too, Izzy. My dribble? Are you kidding me? You've been picking at me every chance you get. My foosball table! You broke my foosball table! Shut it, Izzy. This is between myself and Val. Myself and Val? Jesus, you're so pretentious. You can't even imagine what other people go through. I needed you, Natalie, and you weren't there. Needed me to what? Hold your hand while you peed on a $12 pharmacy stick? Yes. Stupidly, I did. But you know why? Because that's what best friends do when one of them thinks they're pregnant. Wait, what? But you weren't, were you? So what does it matter? It matters because I needed you. And you blew me off. Oh, and how many times exactly have I blown you off in the past? The time you got sloshed at Blaine Davis's party and I got out of bed to come get you? Or when you got rejected from Cornell and I left the yearbook staff party to console you? <laughs> How about when I rescheduled my entire European book tour so you could make up with your boyfriend that you dumped? Uh, not this again. Yes. This again, Valentina, because you should know by now that if I'm not there, it could be, perhaps, that something is going on with me. Oh, what? Was it, like, so dreadfully stressful to be on the New York Times bestseller list again? Or did, did Daddy buy you the wrong diamond tiara for Fashion Week? <laughs> okay, I don't know who told you about that. The tiara was awful. But no, <laughs> See? while you I were having it. your benign Always little pregnancy scare, you. I found out I was dying. Wait, what did you just say? The day you called and asked me to drive up to Poughkeepsie to take a five-minute pregnancy test with you was the very same. I was diagnosed with stage 4 polycystic kidney disease. I had no idea. But you should have. When I didn't call you back, when I drank half my weight in disgusting Smirnoff ice at Danny's graduation party, you... 
one of my two best friends in the world, should have known something was wrong. You should have said something. Oh, fabulous suggestion, Val. But if you haven't noticed, I haven't been coping very well. Hey, Natalie, where are you going? Out of this revolting house and away from that putrid excuse for a friend. <laughs> Natalie! Holy shit, this is big. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. Izzy, dude, why didn't you just say this from the jump? I don't know. You were my first. You showed me the ropes. I mean, you're Aura Tomlin. (laughs) Not that, again. It's an excuse, and it's true, okay? But mostly, I just went along with things because that's what I do. I go along. And it's sucky and dishonest, and I'm sorry. So, we cool? I just led you on for a month. Nah, I invaded your space. I said I was leaving, then I stayed. No, no, no. I'm glad you did. I needed the closure, and I'm really glad we got a chance to hang before you moved to California. Me too. You know you'll always be my doll face. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'll get my stuff out of your room, but... I don't want to bail until I can wrap up this experiment for Laura. She's a dope chick. Thanks for always being the coolest. Hey, thanks one to no one. I'll see you later. The hell was I so afraid of? What are you talking about? Oh, hey, Val. Nothing, just babbling to myself. Not going to tell me? No offense, but you haven't exactly been Captain Transparency either. I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the pregnancy scare, okay? It's just, Natalie was in the city, and you're all the way out here in Ohio, and then when the test was negative, I kind of just felt like an idiot. You heard from Natalie? Yeah. She got a room at the Oberlin Inn so she could finish out the experiment. Finish out the experiment? She needs to go home and take care of herself. And put the damn bottle down, but she didn't want to hear that. Told me it's her life, or... Lack thereof. Damn, I love that drama queen. I really screwed up, Biz. I knew she'd been tired. She had a few headaches, but I didn't know that she was dying. Hey, 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 this this isn't your fault. And Natalie's not going to die. She'd never let you off that easy. (laughs) We're gonna take care of her, but first, you gotta take care of yourself. You look like shiz on a stick, Val. Danny's on his way back from the city. Says he wants to take me out for a fancy dinner because he's got a surprise. Bad timing. What do I do? If I learn anything this summer, it's that you gotta be honest, even if it royally blows. But I love him. I know. Why, it's that much more important to follow your gut. Which is what I'm gonna do now. Where are you going? To do something I should have done a long time ago. Hey, Izzy. This experiment is awesome. Thanks, Phil. You seen Laura, by the way? Right there by the printers. Hey, hey. We ever gonna meet the people we've been talking to on there? Yep. End of experiment ragers next week. Uh, Everyone's gonna be there. Sweet. Because I met this awesome chick, and... That's what you think. What? Oh, oh, shit, Iz. Can you find out if it's a chick for me? I'll give you 20 bucks. Izzy! Hey, Laura. Been looking for you everywhere. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, um, laptop was on the fritz, so I came here. Oh, uh, you're working on the experiment? So, what's up? Yes, why I came here, uh, the thing that is up. You okay? You're kind of turning purple. Oh, that? Uh, that's normal. Uh, never heard of a purple Jew? Right. Well, first off, I broke things off with Aura. Wait, you did? That's awesome. Full, full. Did something happen? Yeah, long before she got here. Sorry, I don't totally... I'm into you, Laura. It's why I jumped at the chance to do this experiment. I thought we'd spend the whole summer together, kicking it and learning about attraction. Then my friends invaded like the frickin' Bay of Pigs. 
Anyway, I should have just grown a pair a while ago, but here I am now. Not with an actual pair. I'm, I'm still me. Just me that's finally asking if you maybe want to go out sometime. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks for eavesdropping, guys. That That's great. Uh, Izzy, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I'm, I'm kind of into someone. Oh, shoot. Um, who? I'm, I'm not sure yet. We, we met through the experiment. The experiment? But we're administrators. We're not supposed to. I know, I know, we're not. I just, uh, I couldn't help myself, and then I found someone, and we had this crazy bond, but, but I knew I had to stop, so, so we decided to meet. You did? Like, when? Oh, hey, guys. What's the dealio? Aura? What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I'm just <laughs> meeting someone. Wait, oh my god. Are you... Are you gold 90? Copper 16? <laughs> no way! I was so hoping it was you. Me too. No offenses. None taken. Hey, you want to get some yerba mates? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> And that, my friends, is how you go from hero to zero. Wow! Yo, nice place! Yeah, sure. <laughs> For Ohio. Oh, they got mussels! Hey, you love mussels! Oh, not in the Midwest, I don't. You have any idea where the nearest body of water is? Erie? Yeah, a lake we're not even allowed to swim in. And you want to eat out of it? Oh, come on, Val. I'm sure they get them from somewhere else, just like they do in New York. Sir? Yes. Hi. Uh, we'd like to start with an order of the mussels and a bottle of champagne. Do we really need champagne? <laughs> well, you love champagne. I know, but a bottle? What are we trying to do here? Maybe just two glasses, then. Beer. A beer for me. In a can, preferably. Thanks. Val, I'm trying to do something nice here. What's not nice about beer? It is what it is, and that's nice. Just like we're nice. Nice just the way we are. Are you okay? I mean, I know you and Natalie... This has like... nothing to do with that. Or maybe it does. I'm very bent out of shape, which makes this a terrible time for anything out of the ordinary. Oh, babe. I'm sorry. But you're stronger than you think, and so is Natalie. She's gonna beat this, and you're gonna help her. Because at the end of the day, you're true best friends. I don't know about that. I do. She loves the hell out of you, Val. I've always known that about her. It's the one thing that girl and I have in common. I miss her, Danny. That's because you need her. And it might not look like it now, but she needs you too. Yeah. Hey, and here we are. All right. Cheers. To the love of my life and all we have ahead of us. And to extreme youth and not making stupid mistakes we'll regret forever. That's... Dark, but okay. All right, now, um, I'll admit, I did have an ulterior motive for taking you out tonight. Yeah, I don't like those. <laughs> Hang on. I have a little surprise for you. Just give me a second while I get this out of my pocket. Uh, ooh, all right, here it is. Stop! So, Danny, I love you. I love you so much, my skin tingles when you're near me, and I... I count down the minutes like a prisoner when you're not. But but if that pregnancy scare taught me anything, it's that I'm too young for all this. I know you'll probably hate me forever, but I just can't. I, I can't. What the? Val! Yo, Val, where are you going? For the last time, Skinny Pete went home for the summer and took his pot stash with him. Sorry, I seem to have inherited the home of the campus marijuana dispenser. What do you want? And why do you look like shit on a proverbial stick? I'm sorry. I, I didn't know where else to go. Can I come in? And you called that morning literally the same time I was receiving my rather unexpected diagnosis. Why didn't you tell me? I was going to. And then I heard your message about the pregnancy test and... I didn't want to overshadow your problem with mine. But yours was way bigger. Yeah, I didn't know that then. 
I was so baffled and twisted. I, I didn't even have the words. But I should have known something was up. I knew you were getting Testa, and I just... I never thought... Neither did I. I mean, a death sentence? I mean, not for sure. But it could be. And what have I done? I've spent the past four years of my life hacking away at softcore porn novels. Meanwhile, I haven't lived at all. All I do is work, 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 and now, suddenly, I have the attention of the romance world, and I can't make myself write a damn word. Explains the benders and the partying. Making up for lost time, I suppose. Honestly, I didn't know what I was doing to myself until... Until I met someone. Who? It's one of the people in Izzy's dating experiment. A sensitive, debonair young man who goes by Nickel Five. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm not. <laughs> Val, I think we're soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> You're Bronx 42? Uh, how did you know that? <laughs> because I'm nickel five. Wait, 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 no. Rule one, no judging. Rule two, no stupid advice. Like, go talk to the person or face, face your, your fears. fears. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good God! I thought you were some, like, dashing senior type. And I thought you were British! <laughs> no wonder we got on so well, Nicole and I. Well, it turns out we really do know one another. <laughs> Natalie, I'm so sorry. I treated you like shit. Oh, as did I. Water under the GW bridge. You really are my soulmate, aren't you, Nickel? <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> I love you, Natalie. And I you, my little spitfire. Are you expecting someone? Is he? Hey, Natalie. Sorry, but... Let me guess. You had nowhere else to go? So I've gotten to the top of the kidney transplant list. What do things look like then? I'm medicated for the rest of my life? Always wondering in the back of my mind if those alien kidneys will reject me? Ugh, more wine please, Val. No, no more wine. Ah, uh, come on, it's her last hurrah. Is it though? Natalie, are you gonna start taking care of yourself after this? I'm not really sure what taking care of myself means anymore, but... Starting first thing tomorrow morning, I promise to try. And we're here to help. Mother effin' here. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Val? I mean, it seems I'm not the only one who needs help as of late. Oh, with Danny? Yes, with Danny. Little Miss Runaway Bride. Didn't even let him get the words out. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why? Because I love him, you guys. And if he had actually done it, like, gotten all down on one knee and looked at me with those wide brown eyes and that big, perfect smile... You would have said yes. Of course I would have. But for all the wrong reasons. Or maybe the right ones, but the fact is, I don't know yet. And you shouldn't have to. Thank you. I just want to live in the now, you know? With my perfect boyfriend in my perfect college bubble. You know, at least for the next few years. So, what are you gonna do? I don't know, maybe there's nothing to do? What I did tonight could have ruined everything between us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Danny is stuck on you like super glue, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> you could practically assault his mother, and he'd probably still be madly in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd go that far. <laughs> Mrs. Hernandez is one tough lady, but but I do have to fix this somehow. You'll figure out just the right way, like you always do. Man, it's good to have you two back. I owe you an apology too, Izzy. 
I mean, I've been acting like a maniac all summer and completely left you in the dark as to why. We shouldn't have shut you out like that, especially with everything going on with Aura and Laura. Yeah, well, not to spoil the ending, peeps, but that was a royal bust on both counts. Oh, no. Sorry, Iz. Meh, it's all good. I, I may kind of have met someone else by accident. Do tell. All right, all right. Send that box of wine my way. It was hella brief, and I was straight up about being into someone else, but I just can't stop thinking about them. Silver 33, you said the name was? Yeah, but something weird happened because... They said they hadn't been able to get through to any other dates. It was only after the breach that they... <gasps> oh, shiz! Silver 33 was the hacker! But why would someone hack into your dating experiment to go on a date? Mm, not go on a date, but go on the date. You think some crazy Obi went to all the trouble of breaching my firewall as an excuse to talk to me? I mean, you said yourself, nothing in the program had been altered. Right. Literally, all of this notorious hacker did was ask you out. Jeez. Mm, I think Natalie's right is. And what do I do? Give them an earful about the stupid Aura Laura situation? Meanwhile, those two were falling for each other. What? Shut the front door. Laura wasn't supposed to participate in the experiment, but she did, and fell for someone who turned out to be Aura. Perfectly timed, as I had just kicked her to the curb. Now that what? is incredible. No way. Yeah, just wish I had known all that before professing my love to Laura. Oh, no. At least we know the experiment worked. It certainly did for Val and I. It turns out, we really are soulmates. I may have noticed that Nickel 5 and Bronze 42 were spending a little more time together than most. Oh my god, you knew? Why didn't you say anything? It was way too much fun, yo. <laughs> oh, Bronzy. I feel like I've known you my whole life. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you really are the worst. Do you know that? Sorry, sorry. I'll take it to the grave, don't worry. So, are you going to try and find this secret silver admirer, or what? Even if I did, what would I do? Start roaming campus singing, Ha-ho, silver! <laughs> no. <laughs> You're both obviously computer geeks. Why not look for them in the experiment? You think they're just hanging out in there, waiting for me to log back on? Or maybe they left you a clue or something. You're right! Oh, I thought it was weird that they had gotten in way before triggering the security system. But they did that, so I'd come looking for them. And there you have it. I I'm gonna run home and see what I can find. I'll keep you posted. Wait, Izzy! Before you do that, I have a little favor to ask you. Hello? Val, I texted you all night last night. Where are we going? Just kidding. You got my voicemail. Damn it! Gets me every time. Tell me something good. Val, it's me. Call me back. Please. I'm worried about you. Did she answer? No. But knowing Val, she probably left it in a room. She just got it a few months ago and always forgets to bring it with her. She'll come back. I'm sure she will. Well, yeah. I mean, all her stuff is here. You know what I mean. I'm not sure I know what I mean anymore. I've never seen her like this. Just out of curiosity, if you're so in love with your girlfriend, why are you participating in a dating experiment? Because Val's best friend asked me to. Val's friends are my friends, and I'd do anything for them. What the? Hello? You still there? Uh, sorry. There's something happening over here, and I... Hello? 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 Hi. 
Sorry, there was a glitch in the program, I think. I was in the middle of talking to someone. Sorry, did I interrupt? Yeah, but it's not like it was going anywhere. I mean, none of this is going anywhere for me. Why is that? Because I've been in love with the same girl since I was 13, and in spite of all her craziness, I'll love her for the rest of my life. Then why are you talking to me right now instead of being with her? Because she ran off on me. Sounds like she's confused. She's perfect. I must have done something. Just haven't figured out what yet. Sounds like you could use someone to talk to. Want to meet up? The experiment isn't over yet, right? Aren't we not supposed to? We're grown-ups here, aren't we? We can make our own rules. Listen, I'm sure you're very nice, but like I said, I'm in love with someone else. So am I. Oh, sorry. I thought... Don't worry about it. I've been in love with my best friend for years, and yet we're still not on the same page. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. My friend put me up to doing this stupid experiment. But so far, it's just made me feel a whole lot lonelier. Sounds familiar. So what do you say? Want to commiserate? I can meet you at Java Zone tomorrow afternoon. First latte on me. I really shouldn't, but... You know what? Why not? Morning. Uh, who wants bagels? Bagels? <laughs> Those any good here? Next to New York bagels, they taste like shoes. But this Jew ain't eating her locks off Wonder Bread, so there you have it. How's Natalie? She's good. She's readying herself, you know? It's gonna be hard. Hard for your average Joe Schmo. For Natalie Moreau, almost unthinkable. <sighs> How's Danny? He's a freaking train wreck. What did you expect? I told him you were spending the night here, and he looks sadder than Winona Ryder's mugshot. <laughs> you better talk to him soon before he starts stealing shit to fill the Johnny depp size hole you left in his heart. Oh, all right, all right. I'm on it. So what about you? Ever find your ghost in the machine? No such luck. I searched everywhere. Waited all night for her to log on, but she never did. What makes you so sure Silver 33 is a girl? Anyone who would go to the trouble of hacking a secure dating system just to meet me would know. I don't long for schlong. <laughs> okay, good point. <sighs> so, what now? I did manage to find the profile she set up. The IP address was blocked, though, so... I left a message. What did you say? That certain relationships in my life had shifted, but most importantly, that there was something about our conversation I couldn't get out of my head, and that if she feels the same way, to find me. So what? Now you just wait? That's depressing. Tell me about it. Feels like I might have majorly missed out, but I don't really know what else to do. I'll tell you what you can do. You can get a load of this. <gasps> <gasps> wow, Natalie, you look like a queen. <laughs> do you always get that dressed up to make phone calls? When it's important, I do. The more you look the part, the more you feel the part. And the more you feel the part, the more you can do what needs to be done. Yes, I completely agree. It is kind of a shame they won't be able to take in the whole picture, though. Do you think there will ever be a time when you'll actually be able to see the person you're talking to on the phone? Like a hologram or something? Or, you know, like on a little screen? <laughs> oh, please, you do. My mother had a video phone 2500 when we were teenagers, and it was awful. Now, hold my hand, girls. I'm pressing send. <laughs> Natalie, Jesus, tell me something good. Passions is a heartbeat away from canceling your contract, and I am, I'm trying to get them Let to calm them. down, but... Did you say get them? Let them, Andrea. Just cancel the contract, and, and I'll give back the advance. I'm sorry, what? 
You said that you were over a hundred pages in. And I lied. I haven't written a word. I mean, not even the words chapter one. <sighs> oh, Andrea? What is that noise? My head repeatedly making contact with the cover for the Rolodex. Ugh. I spent months plundering to get you the best goddamn book deal in town. And now you tell me you want to throw it all away for what? <laughs> a boy? A, a, a tropical vacation? My life. Well, what does that mean? I'm sick, Andrea. I have advanced polycystic kidney disease. And look, if I don't start taking care of myself now, there's a very good chance I won't make it through this. Natalie, what? I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. This whole thing has been very irresponsible of me, and and you have every right to drop me as a client. And oh, for Pete's sake. You're just a kid. Uh, what? You're a 20-year-old, Natalie. This is serious stuff. I'm, I'm so sorry. You're not mad at me? I know I've been hard on you, but... I also didn't miss the part where you spent your late teens churning out pages that put me into a two-story loft on Park Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to take care of yourself. Be a freaking normal college student for a while. And when you're ready, call me, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Andrea. No. Thank you. I'll handle Passions Publishing, and you get better. Okay. Bye, Andrea. See you around, kid. Oh, I did it. See, that was amazing. You put you ahead of your career. And you should be very proud. Especially considering that before today, I didn't know there was a difference between the two. Hey, champ. The car's here to take you to the airport. Wonderful. I'll be out in a moment. Are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Truthfully, making that call was probably the hardest part of this whole ordeal. And look how it turned out. You got nothing to worry about. We shall see, she said, and stepped off the porch into the great unknown beyond. <laughs> I love you. Kick Hi, some Natalie. cystic ass, lady. Love you. What about you, Val? You ready to step off into the great unknown, too? Ready as I'll ever be. Welcome to Job Zone. Can I get something started for you? What? I'm not starting anything. I'm just meeting someone, okay? I just mean, can I get you something to drink? I'm not going to be drinking with this girl. I've never even met her before. Who do you think I am? Sir, this is a coffee shop. We serve coffee. Right. What the hell am I doing? I don't want to commiserate with some random girl. I want to talk to my girlfriend. Man, screw giving her space. I'm going to find her and make her talk to me right... Ow! Danny! Oh, sorry, Val. Oh, Val! What are you doing here? I came to meet you. <laughs> meet me? But I... But... But you... Want to commiserate? First latte on me. <laughs> oh, my God. You're... Gold 27, gold... baby. <laughs> Val, listen, I wasn't going to do anything, honest. I, I just... Danny, you, please. Uh, I know that. And I know how much you love me, but you still came out to meet a stranger just to see if no, there was no, no, anything no. else out there. No, come on, Val. And that's okay. We're 20 and, and 22. That's how we should be thinking. Not all the time, obviously, but, you know, the point is, we're too young to be thinking about forever. Okay. But that's no excuse, though. I, I shouldn't have run out on you. I just didn't really know how to tell you that I'm just really, really not ready for marriage. Wait, what? Please don't get upset. It, it's not that I don't love you enough. I do. I just... No, 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 Val. <laughs> I'm not ready for marriage either. What? Why the hell were you about to propose to me? I wasn't. Then what was that stupid surprise you said you had for me? What has Jesucristo mohead? For real? Yo, I bought an apartment. You what? I got the job, Val. Assistant to the communications director for the 13th district. So Abuelo and my mom helped me with the down payment for a place on Pinehurst. I figured when you graduated, I don't know, it could be our first home. And I, I wanted to surprise you with it. 
Yeah, I've been keeping the pictures in my pocket, so, I mean, they're a little crumpled, but, yeah. Ah, uh, it's beautiful, Danny. I am so sorry. This whole summer, I just assumed you... And someday, Valentina, you better believe I will ask you to marry me. But I'll never blindside you, okay? I'll wait until we're both ready. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> Come here, you knucklehead. <laughs> Mind if I kiss you in front of all these people? Hey, yeah, damn right. Let's show these ovies how it's done. Go! Party people! I just wanted to thank you all for being part of Izzy and I's dating experiment. Hopefully you were all lucky enough to make incredible connections, like I did. Love you, Laura. Love you, Laura. <laughs> anyway, now's your chance to meet the people you've been chatting with all summer, so have at it. Literally everyone who participated in the experiment is here. Not everyone. Aw, it's okay, Iz. I just talked to Natalie, said she got home safe, and is getting ready to start treatment tomorrow. Oh, Natalie. Great. Th that's great. You weren't talking about Natalie, were you? Am I a bad friend if I say no? <laughs> Pretty much the worst, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard back from Silver 33. Not a word. What makes you so sure she's not here? Because I know all these fools. You got Phil over there drooling all over nice Molly. The guy from the library? Yep. He was Cobalt 3. Really? I thought he was a surfer dude. Well, so does Phil, minus the crippling fear of water. And why do you call her nice Molly? Cause there's two Mollies. The other one's over there playing five finger filet with that freaked out freshman. She was Iron 17. Oh man, I thought that was some asshole dude. And that's why we call her asshole Molly. <laughs> okay, I get it. You know everyone and their usernames, but you never know who could turn up. Pretty sure I do. Listen, Val, I'm really glad you and Danny patched things up. You should probably go celebrate with him. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna turn in early. It's nine o'clock, the party just started. I know, I'm just, I'm not really feeling the whole everyone come together and find the love of your life vibe. I get that. But you shouldn't have to spend the night alone. But I am alone, Val. I've been alone for years, and right now, it's really hard to imagine that I ever won't be alone. You won't, Is. You're the most lovable person I know. And the most fun. And... To maintain my stellar reputation, I'm gonna march my sullen ass up to my room so I stop bumming the shizzy out of you. But if you need me, I'm here. Will do, lady. <sighs> room, sweet, lonely room. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god! Silver 33?! Meet me in the backyard now? Uh, what? Yo, Izzy. Hey, Phil. It was a chick. I found her. Look. Hey, Iz. Wanna arm wrestle? I'll kick your ass. Isn't she awesome? <laughs> yeah. Congrats. And let's take a rain check, ass Molly. Molly, Molly. Just need to get some fresh air. Yikes, library fill and asshole Molly. What have I done? Hi, Easy. Uh, um, hi, sorry, it's kind of dark out here. I can't really see. Holy shit, Nora? I hope I am not barging in on you. Barging? How are you even here right now? Uh, it was not easy. First, I had to find American universities with advanced computer science programs. Then I had to apply for a student visa, then take a very long plane ride. Advanced computer science, of course, and the whole emotional Jedi thing? I knew that was too crazy to be a coincidence. Sorry, I hacked your dating game. When I saw the professor's announcement about the experiment on your college website, I couldn't help myself. I wanted to surprise you, 
tell you I would be attending John Carroll University in Cleveland this fall. Seriously? But then you said you were seeing someone. I haven't seen a freaking soul since the day I met you. I thought I had feelings for my roommate, but it was a stupid, superficial crush, and it was a waste of time anyway. Because the truth is, as much as I've tried, I've never gotten over you, Nora. I've thought about you every day since Paris, and now it makes so much sense. Of course I couldn't stop thinking about Silver 33 because Silver 33 was you. I almost left, canceled the semester and went home, but then I decided to go back into your experiment just to see. And you got my message. Hot damn you got my message. <laughs> Wait, this was too good to be true. Are are you for real like you're here now? Yes, a two-year graduate program. Holy shnikes, get over here and let me ravage you already. Should we go inside? So I can announce to everyone I got the love of my life back? Actually, I really need to pee. <laughs> oh, all right. Can you maybe hold it for a few more seconds so I can kiss you again? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Izzy. I love you, Nora. Hi, Meet Cuties. We're excited to share that our hit series, Carrie, starring Pauline Chalamet, is a finalist in this year's Signal Awards. You can vote for Carrie at vote.signalaward.com or click the link in our show notes. Thanks for the vote and for the listen.